Hello CHS, my name is Logan Miller and I'm going to be giving your student announcements for today. The Winter Dance tickets are on sale. The dance is Saturday, January 19th from 7 to 10 p.m. in the cafeteria. The theme this year is Starry Night and the ticket cost is $10 per person. Tickets will not be sold at the door, sold at the door so you must buy them in advance at the bookstore. Out of school guest forms are available on the stand in front of the bookstore. These forms must be signed by your AP before you take them to the bookstore to purchase a ticket for your guest. Stop by the bookstore if you have any additional questions about the dance. Ascension Trail by members, the mandatory informational meeting with, your, with you and your parents will be held on Tuesday, January 22nd at 6 p.m. in Mr. Dorrance's classroom. Now we have a report on the Netflix movie sensation, Bird Box. Hey CHS, did you know there's these creatures people keep seeing that show them their worst fears? We talked to your students about that. Let's go. If you're not in the know, Bird Box is a 2014 fiction horror novel written by Josh Mallerman, which was recently adapted just last December into a Netflix exclusive movie. Starring Sandra Bullock, the movie features a story about a woman and her kids traveling to get away from these creatures, which take on the form of your worst fears if you see them. This is why everyone in the film wears blindfolds and has sparked the recent Bird Box challenge on social media, in which teenagers are wearing blindfolds while doing menial tasks. This, of course, has led to injuries, and Netflix has even released a statement telling teenagers not to wear blindfolds while doing things. I thought the Bird Box movie was very interesting. I liked the visuals, even though we couldn't see what was really going on with them. But I also thought that it left a lot of interpretation up to the to the viewer. So if you're into like spooky post-apocalyptic things, go ahead and watch it. Bird Box, I, a lot of people say that it's really good. I don't really understand why it's a phenomenon because I feel like some of the acting's bad. It's not really that intense or scary. It feels more like it's a movie that's trying to be a remake of The Happening from 2007, but they also want to take elements from a Quiet Place, but it just failed. And Tickets for the spring play will be available in the bookstore for Alice in, the, Alice in Wonderland Looking Glass. The play dates are March 1st, March 2nd, and March 3rd. Ticket prices for are seven dollars for adults, five dollars for students and seniors. Family tickets for two adults, two children for twenty dollars, and children three and under are for free. And now into your sports: boys varsity basketball at home against Crown Point on the 18th at seven. Boys JV basketball at home against Crown Point on the 18th at 5:30. And that's all for your student announcements. At I'm William Logan with your CHS News. That's all. Have a good day.